Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in today. Blitz here with the Survival Outpost. It is a beautiful day in downtown Jacksonville. And basically, I need you guys' help, as you might have guessed from the topic of the video. It's like this. I started out this everyday carry adventure with a bag, a backpack, two straps, two straps, right? Now, I switched out to a sling pack. But then finally, after some comments on that, I was like kind of hurt because people called it an oversized man purse and maybe I'll get over the pain. But quite honestly, that was not an oversized man purse. This, my friends, is undoubtedly an oversized man purse, okay? So basically what we're doing here is making the world's most tactical man purse work for 24 hour survivability, which is kind of hard to considering the size of this bag. So this is where I need you guys' help. I've already built in the everyday carry layer. I know the stuff that I need best in the environment that I work and operate and live in, but the 24 hour part of it is killing me. Like I'm missing some really big items like shelter, a quality container, things like that that really make a big difference. So I need you guys' help on it. And it's basically just be a collaborative effort. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and jump into it, starting right about now. Okay, so what are we working with here, guys? This is the 511 Tactical Messenger Bag, the Lima model, the smallest model. I believe this comes in at right about 10 liters. So looking at the front of it, you'll see that there's laser cut webbing with some ooh, soft, soft Velcro on it. And I've decided not to utilize it at all because I don't like a bunch of pouches hanging off of here. I like to keep this nice and slick with just one morale patch here. Well, not really a morale patch. You know, this is more like, hey, there's a medical kit in here somewhere, but then a legit morale patch right there at Kali Yuga Surf Club. If you don't know what the Kali Yuga is, please Google it and you might be interested in what you find. Anyways, front of the bag, nice and slick, Velcro, laser cut webbing, and then you see zipper, zipper. Here, what do we got? <clears throat> Charging cable for all those devices that have to stay up and functional. Plus, if there's a charging cable, there's obviously gonna be a charger. So I have it here, this here for easy access. Don't have to open the bag. I can just you know plug in and go, not a big deal. This side, you might've guessed, medical. So basic medical though, you know, I'm just talking basic stuff like wet wipes, <clears throat> stare strips, band-aids, stuff for the basic cuts and scratches things of that nature, nothing trauma related. So those are those two zippered pockets right there. Now, if we rotate this to the side, there is a mesh pocket, one on each side with the laser cut Velcro webbing right here. And then over here, same deal going on, but I've attached my HSG bleeder blowout pouch here. So that's basically it for the front and the sides of the bag. One thing to mention, is down here on the bottom there is two drain holes and then of course the hardware guys on 511 is going to be top quality these are duraflex buckles and then if we look at the top of the bag here heavy duty grab handle way over stitched and then two attachment points one two three four and hey look i finally found a use for a paracord bracelet because i never liked wearing them around my wrist so got that attached up here and then have this flexible twist tie by Night Eyes. These things come in handy for just securing gear to pretty much anywhere. I use them all the time. And then rotating around to the back of the bag, what do we got here? We got retention strap, just like you would use on a sling bag, but this is designed for the messenger bag. <clears throat> so when you sling this from one shoulder diagonal, this kind of goes around your waist and secures it a bit more if you're out doing like parkour or something, I don't know, crazy things. Now. Right here, concealed carry compartment. Got the Glock 19. God, man, see, it's so dark in here. It's almost impossible to see. Let me, let me see if I can make this work here. Glock 19, and then also mags right there. So, you know, it's obviously Velcro enabled. I have two Maxpedition items in there one is a holster and one is a two mag carrier now the one thing i will say about this is that it is very tight in there and putting a glock 19 in there with a double stack mag makes it pretty damn bulky so i'm thinking something like a single stack mag would probably be a better idea so that's basically it for the outside of this bag guys now game plan is pop it open i'm going to show you the little bit of gear i have in here and then we'll work to fill in those gaps 
Then one detail on this bag I don't want to forget, guys, is the fact that it is detachable right there. So you can take off the shoulder strap and just carry it like this. So that's a nice little bit of uh, you know feature there. Probably pretty common for your average me uh, messenger bags, but still something I wanted to point out real quick. Now, let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got in here. So the lid opens and look at this. Yay, organizational panel, right? So here, the idea is I want to have access to everything I need to use on a common basis, right? So did I just say everything I need to use on a common basis? I don't use pepper gel on a common basis, but I have used this before. And judging by the look on the person's face who got hit with this, it's very effective. So I like to keep this in an easy to access area. A non-lethal option is always good. Then Leatherman Wingman Multi-Tool right in the rain pin, Sharpie. Got a Kershaw blade here. And this little guy, is this the blur? I can't remember, but it was cheap. And Kershaw is just a good budget brand for knives. So it's got a little bottle opener right there, deep pocket carry. And then you probably use this as a glass breaker as well. So threw that guy in there for a little bit of redundancy. And then behind it here, you're gonna see this theme a lot in this bag where there's just pockets everywhere. Open this up, got note, notebook, notepad, whatever you wanna call it. Then another deep pocket here, nothing going on. And then right here is big zippered pocket. I mean, th something like this, you know, this, this kind of space would be good for papers, things of that nature. Nothing super big and bulky though, I wouldn't think. So that's it for the organizational functionality on this bag. Pretty good to go, lots of things going on. Oh yes, of course snacks and then lighting provided by through night lithium ion powered battery and once this thing is fully charged up there's no reason why it shouldn't last you for 24 hours so obviously i've taken out basically everything from this bag but here is the laptop pouch heavily padded secured with this strap to the velcro right here this is a big Velcro panel. You see I have a Maxpedition 3 mag carrier on here that I'm using to hold my monoculars. And I had some other stuff in here, but whatever, I took it out. Now, large deep pocket back here, another one right here, and then a smaller one there. Like I said, guys, this thing is crammed full of pockets. Got a big open pocket right there. And then one, two pockets behind in front of that, and then zippered pockets in front of those. I think that's all the pockets, pretty sure. I don't know, but anyways, let's go ahead and look at the gear that I have in here and then we'll fill in those gaps. So now let's just have a quick look at the items that I have in that main compartment, starting with the Barska monocles. Couldn't fit binoculars, it didn't make sense, there wasn't enough room, but this still provides me with the ability to kind of see what's going on out there, mighty. I don't know, but these are, th these are very handy. I like these a lot. Now. For the primary blade, I've downsized quite a bit. This is actually ends up being a perfect size to fit in the bag. It's full tang. This is my Buzzard by Hydra Knives. I've shown you guys this before. Go check it out. The video, if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna try and pop it up there right now as a suggestion. And this is just a nice full tang blade. Also can be used as a fighting blade and um, probably also a pry bar too. So comes in handy, especially in the urban environment. It can be used as a neck blade, which not my preference. It has a belt mount, which that's how I use it. Now, what else we got going on here? Let's see, right, obviously charger for the laptop. That takes up a lot of space. Laptop definitely takes up space in there. And then in that zippered compartment that I just showed you guys in the, the main compartment of the bag, I have this lock sack waterproof dry bag that just has lighter, it has um, tinder in here, matches, water purification powder, you name it. So this is just fire and water purification basically and then a whole hell of a lot of tinder. So got that going on there and that's really, that's really about it for the inside of the bag. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what I'm missing and how I need you guys' help to finish this bag off. So keeping the five C's in mind, you need a container. So I have a container, but it's not stainless steel and I don't like that because I can't boil water in this. So suggestions are very much appreciated for a container. It needs to be about this size. Anything bigger is not gonna fit in that mesh pocket on the side. And you know, 24 ounces would be nice. So stainless steel container, 24 ounces, that's what I'm on the hunt for. And then shelter, that's another big one in as part of the five C's, cover, shelter, whatever you wanna call it. 
I do not have that covered. I did try to use my Snug Pack Patrol Poncho, but it was just inside the, 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 the stuff sack, it was too big and bulky. So then I took it out and tried to stuff it into all the empty spaces in my bag, and that still was too bulky. So the shelter is just a big unknown. I'm not sure how to handle that. Now, medical, I showed you guys what I had up front there for just basic trauma. That HSGI bleeder pouch has everything you need to handle gunshot wounds, deep punctures. I got chest seals in there. I have hemostatic agent, quick clot gauze, and um, then tourniquet as well. But the tourniquet, I cannot seem to get to attach securely to the side of that IFAC. So that's a problem I need to solve. Now, something else that I feel that is outstanding is communications. Now maybe I'm perfectly fine with my iPhone. I have a charger there, so staying in touch with people I need to stay in touch with or you know, monitoring news or whatever shouldn't be a big deal as long as we don't have like an EMP or some sort of crazy grid down event, right? It shouldn't be a big deal. Um, honestly, I just don't have space for my Baofeng radio. I wish I did, so comment suggestions on that are definitely appreciated. And then the other thing that I have that I forgot to throw in the bag is my Shemog. The Shemog, obviously, guys, is good for tons and tons of uses, but what I use it mainly for is filtering all the debris out of dirty water, right? So, you know, let's pretend like this is something I'm using. I have um, <clears throat> my Shemog that goes on top, and then I just pour from my dirty water container into this and filter out all the debris. So, got to throw the Shemog in there. And then, you know, obviously, probably forgetting a few other odds and ends, but this is a collaborative process, so I need you guys to to help me fill in these gaps. And I think we can come out with a bag that is not only compatible for everyday carry and has everything I need, but also covers that 24 hour survivability thing, right? As long as I can figure out how to fill, fit a shelter in here. And I mean, I could hang it off the side of the bag. I'm trying to avoid that, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's, that's what I need help with guys. It's a tactical man purse. Let's embrace it. Let's love it and let's make it freaking awesome. Okay. So um, yeah, hit me up in those comments. You know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, smash it. Like some people say on YouTube, you know, hit it with a left and across, whatever, right? And if you didn't like the video, hey, I'm sorry, I cannot please everybody. But anyways, for everybody who does like the video, thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. The last one that I put up blew up. I, I like didn't even expect it. It's like at 5,000 views in less than under a week, which for a channel of my size is pretty freaking awesome. So I think I'm finally tuning in to what you guys want to hear and what you guys really truly want to talk about. So I'm gonna keep nailing that down even better. And um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, for me, the rest of the day, we're just gonna be hanging out downtown so you guys can enjoy some B-roll footage starting right about now. Hit me up in those comments. Let me know what you're thinking about the bag and how we can make this awesome. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.